The man you're about to meet is about to lose yet another friend. When you're 101, it happens a lot. I've lost some good friends at my age, and uh, of course I feel bad, but uh, I just thank the good Lord we had him so long. Fact is, Frank Knight was devastated at the news that his good friend Herbie wouldn't make it. He's known him 50 years, and in that time, has grown closer to Herbie than most people ever get to even their closest trees. That's a big beauty. Herbie is a 240-year-old elm tree in Yarmouth, Maine. Obviously, Herbie has seen better days, here a mere shadow of his former stately self. And yet Herbie is still easily the most beloved elm on the planet. It's nice to see so many people out enjoying the last few moments of its life. Hundreds came out to say goodbye. Herbie is sick. We don't want him to suffer. I mean, it's the best thing for him, so. What made Herbie sick, and ultimately made him famous, is Dutch elm disease. The fungus swept across America, killing almost every elm in existence. Almost. The fact that Herbie survived all those years, all those seasons, isn't some fluke of nature. Rather, a direct result of five decades of tender loving care from a volunteer tree warden named Frank Knight. They all said, you can't save it. And I was so damn stubborn that I said, I'm going to try. So he sprayed well, and trimmed and <laughs> coddled that tree so much his wife used to joke. If that tree's name was Susie, I'd be pretty jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but she loved it as much as I did. All that admiration, all that history, to let it just end with a thud seemed crazy to the folks in Yarmouth. Which is why, after Herbie fell last month, they cut up the pieces and distributed them to woodworkers across New England. Those people are now fashioning Herbie into everything from furniture to salad bowls. The pieces will be sold at auction. The profits will go to plant thousands of new trees, which should be tremendous consolation to Frank. I mean, you can only save one tree for so long, but a forest, you can save forever. Herbie will also be giving his stump to science. Experts will be looking at his rings to see what they can learn about climate change. Very sweet story and a very nice man. He's a sweetheart. Yeah.